These are days I look out over my students and I close my plan book and I shut my door and open my eyes to the lessons they really need to learn. No matter what the Common Core deems worthy of my curriculum, these students deserve celebration. Come join me and see why. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Abby Sweats and an Uncommon Core. this year. Mayingen asks to read a poem, and it is not what I expect. See, Mayingen is a new student. She stands in a slouch as if afraid to take up too much space, but also she is a poet. Over the course of the year, she's written and written and written, using the pen as therapy to explore her diagnosed anxiety, to work through her struggles with eating disorders and self-injury, and to try and navigate what it means to be Ashanabe and Ho-Chunk, to be Native American, but constantly read, as she would say, as a white girl with a tan. <laughs> but this time, instead of poetry as self-exploration, Mayangan turned the mirror on to the rest of us for a stinging indictment of American culture. Welcome to the 21st century, a world of positivity and viral videos. Welcome to the 21st century, a world where the words racism, sexism, homophobia, and transphobia are met with the words, what are those? Welcome to the 21st century, where we have a black president, so the deaths of Michael Brown, Trayvon Martin, and Tamir Rice don't really matter. Welcome to the 21st century. Caitlyn Jenner is loud and proud, so Leela Alcorn's suicide note is better left forgotten. Welcome to the 21st century. We have plus-sized models now, so every 13 minutes when someone in America commits suicide, it's definitely not because of their body image. Welcome to the 21st century, where all your problems can be wiped away with one stroke and a smile. Welcome to the 21st century, where your problems are pushed aside, dismissed, ignored, not acknowledged. Welcome to the 21st century. We hope you enjoy your stay. When that kid, when Mayinga was standing at the, at the mic speaking truth to power, she was not afraid to take up space. And as fucked up as American culture was, she'd be 18 in five years, and she, along with the rest of the students in this room, were going to fix it. Keep it going, everyone. 